Hello guys, my name is Engineer Adnan and today we will be making land surveying sheet in Microsoft Excel for leveling and different elevation. Make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel Civil Engineering and follow, my, follow me on Facebook page Civil Engineering Global. Let's begin. Open Microsoft Excel and we have to define some columns. The first column will be station, also donated as ST, then backside BS, then intersite IS, then height, height of instrument HI, then foresight FS, then elevation ELEV, and the last column will be called remarks. You can adjust the columns by doing as follows. After adjusting the, follow, uh, the columns, we have to put the data into the table. The first will be PT. Let's begin putting the station data. 0 meter, 25, 50, 75. We have to put the data up to 500 meters, so it is hard to write one down. So select them all and drag it down up to 500. So uh, it will write all the data from 0 to 500 automatically for you. This is the easiest way. Let's put the back station data 1.81 and then intersite 2 1.1, 1.91, 1.51, 1.23, 1.67. 1.87, So here we have to change the instrument a little bit. So we will put backstation station data 1.69 and uh, for uh, foresight data 1.56. So back to the intersite uh, 1.89, 1.54, 1.76, 1.45. 1.66 sorry 2.31 2.89 and the last one 2.11 so we have put all the necessary data we have collected from the site into the table. Now elevation, we have also taken the first elevation which is uh, 501.80. So this is the elevation we have taken from the site. So for height of instrument, we will put the formula is equal to G8 plus elevation plus back side. That is C8. Okay, and then press enter. For the second elevation, we will put the formula is equal to 
uh, E8 E8 height of instrument minus inter side that is D9 that is D9 and then press enter so it is very hard to write their formula again and again in here so we will just adjust the formula for the second elevation in here click here and then here and put shift dollar sign uh, in front of the E and dollar sign in front of the 8 and press enter so after adjusting the formula select it and drag it down up to the change in data so it will calculate all the elevation automatically for you now <laughs> we have the change point so here we will have to again take the elevation because here 502.08 and height of instrument we will put formula is equal to G 20 plus C 20 that is elevation plus backside enter and for the other elevation we will also change the formula we have to change the formula uh, is equal to E20 height of instrument minus enter side that is yes and then press enter we have to adjust the formula so we will put a dollar sign in front of the E and then again the dollar sign in front of 20 and press enter so select that and drag uh, it down up to the end of the data so it will, it will calculate the elevation automatically for the other entries after we, now we have successfully created the table now we have to a little style uh, give it a little style so give it a little color bold it give it some color you can choose the color in here any color you want you can select it it's totally up to you after that if you want to make it a table then select the data click this cell style and then output so it will be uh, shown in a table format you can remove the color to no fill and it will be so here we have successfully created a surveying sheet for leveling and different elevation you can save this data go to the file and save as or you can print the data click the print button and print the data as follows thanks for watching i hope the video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask in the comment section below subscribe to our youtube channel like our facebook page civil engineering global Thanks. Bye-bye.